To run a species distribution experiment, you just go to the experiments tab at the top of the home page and click on species distribution modeling experiment. From here, you give your uh, experiment a title, for instance, box distribution current, and also give it a description if you like. This is an optional thing, but I might want to just put the scientific name in there just for reference. Um, some researchers use this description tab to put in a hypothesis or a question or something that helps them when they're looking at it into the future when they may have forgotten. Go to your occurrences tab um, and cl select, click on select a data set. Now if you don't have any data sets in here that means that you haven't imported anything. So to do that just go to this shortcut here, click visit the data sets page and that'll take you to the ALA or Australian Living Atlas import. So from here go to select a data set. I can see that I've got my Fox occurrence here. Select that and hit select. Now you can visualize your data set, start to get an idea of where the occurrences lie. You can visualize this full screen if you like, uh, zoom right into it to get a good idea of where your species uh, occurs. Uh, so hit next. You then need to select a, a pseudo absence um, or absence data set. If you have your own, again click on select a data set and select which um, absence data set you want to use, or if you don't have your own, the BCCVL can generate this for you. So just click on use pseudo absence points, tick the box, and make sure that um, it's got the right number of pseudo absence points. By default, the BCCVL matches the number of absence points to the number of occurrence points. However, this may or may not work for your particular species or for what you're modeling. So you can change this to say whatever, it, uh, whatever you like. I'm going to leave it at the default there and hit next. Now you need to select your climate and environmental data sets. So to do that you click on select data sets um, and you can choose start by refining say by resolution. So I want to model at one kilometer resolution. Uh, you can filter it by any keywords or by a source. So for instance I want to look at the Australian current um, and future climate data. And again, you can then select this further by layers, but I want to search for everything. So I fill that in and hit search, and I can see that this is the exact data set I was looking for. So I can select that. You can select more than one if you're after more than one, um, and hit select layers. This will import it into your experiment, and then you can say select, say none, and then just pick which ones you'd like to use in your experiment. Um, and then hit next. And now you need to choose what model you'd like to use for your species distribution model. So for instance, you can use all of them. So you can select all, um, which will use all of the 17 algorithms that are currently offered in the BCCVL. Now each algorithm comes along with its own configuration options. The BCCVL has used default values. So if you don't want to change any of these, you don't have to. However, configuration is a good idea for ensuring the model, your model performance. Um, it helps refine exactly what you're looking for. So for instance, you just click on them and you can change any of these default values as you see fit. Um, where we can, we have also added tool tips to give you an idea of exactly what that configuration option is um, and what it might mean if you change it. So I'm going to leave all the default values and I'm going to run all of the models. So I just hit next and start experiment. This will give you a small little loading icon. Um, once it's sort of looked at all the, um, all your inputs, made sure you've filled everything out correctly, it'll take you straight to the results page. And you'll get a good sort of bar here on telling you sort of what's happening. So whether they're running, whether they're queued and <clears throat> how many of them have completed. You are free to go off this page, do whatever you like, close down your computer and the BCCVL will email you when your experiments have been completed. Now, for the most part, most experiments only take a couple of minutes to run. However, it does depend on the size of the data sets you've put in, how many data sets you've used and of course, how many people are using the BCCVL.